Hello, um, thought I'd do a quick video. Really excited to see that Homeworld 3 is working, anyway, the demo does, on my M2 MacBook Air 15 inch. Um, I've got it running through Whiskey, which is, um, I've done a previous video on Anno 1800. This one has no third party launcher, so it just literally ran um, once I installed um, the game through Steam. Again, through Whiskey, um, I just literally searched the store for the demo, clicked install, it installed, and it ran first time. I didn't need to do anything. So you can see here, I've also got my Anno install, and then the Homeworld 3 demo. So I've got it playing. I've got some other software running, iStatistica, to show temperatures, and utility monitor, again, to show GPU usage. The great thing about Homeworld 3 um, is you can show the frames per second on the screen within the game and also you can limit the frame rate. Now, obviously on the M2 MacBook Pro that's got active cooling, um, you won't need to worry too much about limiting it because it will cool itself, whereas on the MacBook Air, obviously there's no fan, so got to keep that GPU usage down so it doesn't overheat too much. Now you can run it at some lower resolutions. I've got mine currently running um, at 1710 by 1000, sorry, yeah, 1107 full screen, limiting it to 30 frames a second. It will go more. Um, I might unlock that actually just for the time being. Let's put that up to 100, just so you can see. Everything's set to low. Um, Anti-aliasing will always set to high. You can't put it on low for some reason when everything's on low, weird. And then I put the resolution scale with FSR2 to 70% and I've just done that because it seems to look the same uh, and run a bit better. So uh, in the demo, I've just done multiplayer because it seems more um, close to what an actual game would look like. Create a private lobby, so it's just me. And again, you can see the game is running really, really well here. Um, as far as I'm concerned, native. You can run it at 1280 by 800. Um, doesn't affect performance a huge amount. Um, <clears throat> although it does mean that it excludes the notch at the top of the screen here. I'll be honest with you, the notch doesn't really go over anything that's important. Um, so it doesn't particularly bother me. I'd rather have the full screen. So here you go. Here it is. So top right, you can sorry, top left, you can see the frames. It's quite dim. But it's running really well. So you could run it on a MacBook Pro. Definitely run it at a higher frame rate. But as I said, I limit it to 30 because of heat. It seems to mean that you don't get the um, as many issues with uh, the computer trying to throttle itself because it's getting too hot. Enemy forces arriving shortly. Begin resourcing operations immediately. Command will send an objective soon. Obviously, the demo has only just come out. Coordinates confirmed. We're moving. But you can see, nice solid 30 frames a second. Using an external mouse just to make it a bit easier. I'm not very good with the, uh, the visual controls on this. But it's really playable. Like I could play this. Incoming hyperspace signatures detected. Ready for attack. Bob's update for you. Target site is locked in and looking great. Expect materials up to short Ready to pop. But yeah, for the game, there's quite a lot on screen. No slowdown, no lag, nothing. 
I can bring up the, I'm just leaving it running for a little while at 30 so you can see the GPU usage. I'll try and do this, it might look a bit funny, but uh, iStatistica. So again, everything's running about 80 to 90, which is fine. Um, and again, that GPU usage is around 80% overall. Um, there are some other bits. The screen capture is obviously taking 10%, so I won't worry about that. You wouldn't normally be running that. But it just means it keeps the battery life around the two and a half, three hour mark. Um, probably three hours when it's fully charged. Um, Combat alert. And the game is running really well. So quite you know, sustainable for me on the MacBook Air. And again, on the MacBook Pro, you could run it at higher rates or high resolution um, with no issues whatsoever. So obviously, Whiskey with Game Porting Toolkit is free to download. The demo is free to download through Steam as well, so there's nothing stopping you from giving it a try yourself. Um, so yeah, give it a go. If you want any more information, obviously put it in the comments. Um, and I'll see if I can answer any questions that anybody's got. But so far, this is it. The demo is running great. I've got it already on pre-order anyway for my PC. So obviously I'll be trying it with the full game when it's released. Um, if people are interested. Anyway, there we go. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.